Okay, let me give you students out there a little brief history of business in the world. In the history of businesses, when businesses start to falter, start to, well, fail, we've seen businesses take on a different approach. They try to generate business and they, by any means possible. Now, we've seen this before in the uh, Chairs vs. Gary's Bar episode on uh, Chairs back in the late 80s, early 90s. Gary's Bar tried picking on chairs just to try to get some business generated into his low-falling, escalating of problem bar that was going nowhere. Well, we see this sort of thing on YouTube also. When Take, for instance, a YouTube channel. If someone's channel is failing, not getting the views they quite once had, they tend to try picking on other smaller YouTubers by channel growth. Not smaller in stature, but smaller by channel growth in numbers. And they try to generate all kind of uh, growth that way because uh, their channel's failing right now. And that's what they do. We've seen this in 2008. We've seen it in 2009. We've seen it in 2010. We've seen it in 2011. We've seen it in 2012. And again, we're seeing it in 2013. Now, the only way to stop this is very simple. You get a broom up, you sweep it under the rug. See, being a massive troll, that's what trolls do. They sweep it under the rug. They don't acknowledge the shortcoming that they might have or may have had. But, some people just aren't adept to that. They let things on the internet get to them to the point where they get really insecure and sensitive about it. And they go around accusing people of other things that didn't happen or did happen, who knows. But until there is visual proof of this so-called crime, one does not have the right to accuse the other party of this so-called crime. You see where I'm getting at? So, just like Gary's Bar tried taking down Chair's Bar, it didn't work then. So, when a failing business in America starts to fail, what do they do? They go to another business, and they try to attack them, saying their product's no good, their product's scum, it's slimy, it's cowardness, this and that. And what happens? They eventually wilt away. And in a year or two, their business is no longer going. It's just basically done. Instead of selling uh, one million Coke cans or Coke bottles or Pepsi, whatever, a month, eh, they're selling about 20K a month. And they don't have nothing to look back on. When they look back on their childhood and their high school memories, it's nothing but a bliss. So that is a little student of the game in business economics in America, how things work. You have a successful business at one time, and it fails, like we said, chairs and Gary's bar, and it takes over on YouTube too. You'll see the big YouTube channels start to falter and dwindle down in numbers because some would say Mr. Smith ain't around anymore. Lost in space. <laughs> Woo! But it is what it is. And I stand my ground and stand behind. What I do, it's what I do here. I'm an entertainer. Master puppeteer, puppet master, whatever you want to call. I make them dance. So that's what we do here. At the Oppressor Channel. Look, if you want a gameplay, I'll get you one of them. But other than that, this is excitement for me right now. Well, yeah, I tried to. I was going to, you know, put it down in maybe, um, like, uh, what do you call? Romper room. Something like that. Put little building blocks up. You know, like four building blocks here. Little blocks. So little kitties to understand. Because I know my people don't understand. But I know the other people, they won't understand. If I put little blocks up, maybe little Tinker Toys or... Domino, something like that, they might understand. But, you know, we get the gist.